Let's start solving question one in this video. So we have a firm that employs one worker and what we know is the utility of the worker. W is the wage e is the level of the effort. Now we also know that the wage depends on a fixed salary and a bonus B for production. We also know there's an alternative utility V in another company and uh, the quantity depends on the effort put. Now in part A, what do we have? What is the level of effort that the worker will choose? Now, when it comes to the level of, work, of effort, uh, in this case, we know that the worker would maximize his utility because they don't say that the company forces the worker to have a certain effort, meaning that we look from the worker's perspective. So we have the utility over here. We know that the wage has a certain function. The quantity has a certain function. So we're going to substitute everything into here and then see what is the relationship between the utility and the effort level. So let's do it like that. We go a bit lower and we will have the utility equals to let me change colors for that. The utility, the utility is equal to the wage, which is A plus B times the quantity. So we have A plus B times the quantity and the quantity is beta times E. So we're going to substitute beta times E instead of the quantity, write it like that, beta times E and then minus one over two times the cost of effort. So minus one over two times theta e to the power of two. And just to keep track of everything, let's say that this is, this is the quantity that we're dealing with. What can we see now? We can see the relationship between the utility. We can see the relationship between the utility and the effort level because we have the effort in every term. And what we can see the effort is a quadratic term with the negative coefficient in front of it, meaning that we have to differentiate the utility function with respect to it and make that equal to zero to find the maximizing level of effort. So let's do that. It's going to be just a bit of math. So we're going to do it over here. The utility derivative with respect to the effort level equals to zero, meaning that when we differentiate term by term with respect to effort, a derivative is just a constant. So the derivative is zero. B times beta times E derivative with respect to effort. Well, we'll keep just the constant, which is B times beta. So we have B times beta over here. And then we go to the next term right next to it minus one over two times theta times e to the power of two derivative with respect to the effort level. We keep just the constants first, which is one over two times theta and we differentiate e to the power of two with respect to e. That's just two e, make it all equal to zero. So make this equal to zero. Now let's cancel out something here because we have two and, hold on, we have two and two go away. So <clears throat> two and two go away. B times beta, B times beta is equal to this term, right? We take it to the other side and to the other side, we're going to have theta times E. So we have over here theta times E. Now we divide both sides by theta to get rid of it, meaning that the optimal effort level is going to be B times beta divided by theta. Hope this all makes sense. In the next video, we go to part B.